Afternoon guys, right, it's allotment. Nice and sunny for a change. New gigs on, got myself some reactor lights. You know what I mean, you know what I mean? Right. The bed wear is too much. Let's see if we can string it out a little bit. Like that. Took the cover off from just starting to actually take off the bottom leaves where they're touching the floor. This curly kale has actually gone absolutely madness. So what I'm going to do is to lift these uh, poles up a little bit. I've got some canes here. I'm going to sink them down as far as I can and put the net over it best I can. Cadillac right butterfly is about, but I'm just going to have to really keep an eye on things um, because I've not got a full cage as of yet. Sweet corn, I need to take start taking some of that. Um, I think the foxes or Mr. Rat has starting to have a nibble. Or one of them, which is there. So the rest of them seem to be fine. They're all starting to fall over now, so we'll start taking what we can off them. As you can see on the kale on this side, the floor is a little bit full and clear now. Deweeded. I just need to try and pick up some of the plants because they've all fell over. Um, but you see a bit more than that. The pumpkins, <laughs> they are now starting to well and truly go. I think what I might try and do is I might try and pick them up and put a little bit of carb underneath. But today, just going to take the weeds out of that bed there, give them a bit of a de-weeding, and we're going to put that bed to bed for winter. Let's see how the marrows are going on. Yeah, definitely some of the collars have definitely blown. Excuse the shadows. I don't mean the band either. Right, so... I think one of those can come off. Just twist it. Oop. Just turn it and twist it and twist it. That's it. Not a bad size. Not a bad size at all. Right, back to this one. Sorry about the shadow, like I say. So my general idea is I'm going to take the hoops out and then put these in. Not the cable tied together. That's not good, is it? I've got one of these steel spikes. Well, or you got to put it in upside down if that makes sense. So let's try and get these off. Put it on pause for a minute. Right, you probably see now the hoops are a little bit narrower, but the solar. Now I did the daft thing me. I cut all my hoops to the size of the beds um, all in one go. Give you a tip, just cut as many as you need and leave them on the roll. Um, because other projects you might have to join the pipes together, which could then cause a little bit more problems. As you can see now, a little bit higher. Just need to really get these up in the air. It's not going to be a big deal, to be honest. So, let's have a look at this in a minute. As you can probably see now, a lot better. And if I could drag out the sun. I don't know if you can actually see them or not, but it's like a little sprouts. That's a, there you go. As you can see now, the bed a lot clearer. So, I just need to put a net over this. I just want to put a net over this to really protect it from pigeons. Um, I have had cabbage whites in there before and they don't seem to have been bothering with them. Speaking of cabbage whites, they're flotting around everywhere again. But I've also got some more Brussels sprouts over there that are a different type than these, but I can't remember what they are. My label seems to have disappeared. Seems to have problems with labels this year. Well, actually, a lot of you two have been having problems with labels. I don't know they're all the range of washing the damn label as well, or whatever. Well, I've started that bed now. Let me see if I can get this light. So. It starts to look a lot, 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 lot healthier. So. Colorado in here now. Needs a de weed. There's a lot of weeds in there. But because that's him. Mr. Robin then, you've probably just seen him flash into, into shot. Um, he's probably after the bugs in there, they've got to whisk down to weed. A little bit of harvest, marrows, kale, a few little onions. I've got beetroot there, I've not took them out yet as of yet. This lot's going to get burnt. Those two palette colours there, they're coming out. Taking all the soil out, I've got some maybe rhubarb as well. And we're going to concentrate on this area in winter. This tree here is getting chopped right way down. 
and trim right way back. Now we can see inside, I'm going to start cutting out the, the lower branches to try and get some light and air in there. But not squashy, still haven't done anything. Might as well give up on them this year. But like everybody else, the weeds seem to be growing very, very well, especially the mare's tail. Was that potato stand to die off now? But what we're going to have to do is, that bed in a minute, once we've done it, we're going to have to cover it in. This, it's horse bedding. Um, it's rape straw, rape seed oil straw. So, I was originally buying this off eBay, and it's cost me about £20. Pound. And us, we've got a local, well, not local, about four or five miles away, to be fair, local-ish. Um, actually got a place that sells all stuff for horses, bedding, you name it, they sell it, food, um, washes, you name it. But that big bag, as you can see, it's half, it's gone already. That was only 7 99 Now this shot here, I don't know what any of you actually remember, if you're still subscribers. This was absolutely a mess. Yeah, my new glasses can see the difference, yes. Ah, look, the old ones don't show all the weeds anymore. That's very, very odd, isn't it? Ah, I'll start wearing my new ones to see where all these weeds are. But never mind. Right, this floor is clear in this area. That lot, not a big deal, get burnt. You can see we've actually put a net over this now. <clears throat> no cable ties, nothing. So what I've actually done is I've actually used these, the little clips that you use for going on your plants. So I've done them along there the best I can. There. Uh, so. And everything I've took out of here, I'll put into there to try and fill that bed up. It will be, it will be getting compost. We've de-weeded that bed. And I've used the rest of that, that straw stuff. Probably a bit overkill I have a bag per bed, but to be fair it is probably... I don't know, four foot by three foot maybe. But that's not bad now, done for winter. These have already got like some sort of mulch and structure in them, so they don't really need doing once the plants come out. But I have got stuff that needs to be planted out, so I might actually put them in here, move it back, plant it out, and then cover it over. Well, I bet there he's going to be literally like a compost bay. Put them all in there, all the greens, everything's waste put in there except for weeds. And we've picked a few, we've picked a few corn. So we've got a few corns, a few little baby onions, some curly kale that has a bag full bag of it, and some marrows. So about that's a little bit of harvest. We didn't get around to doing this bed in the end, uh, physically run out of time, but there's always tomorrow. And why we've still got maybe an hour after tea, we might start coming down for the last couple of hours at night time, and ideally want to get that bit covered in mulch, there is some at the allotment entrance, but I don't know whose it is um, because it isn't it's definitely not supplied by the council. So, speech for all gain. That's it for me today, guys. It's just a short one, really.